I'm really looking forward to the festival and to visiting and watching films, meeting everyone who's putting the festival together. So it's very exciting, yeah. It's a, it's a great honor. It means a lot to me to, to have that role in the festival and, you know, it'll be really interesting to speak to audiences. The films that I normally make are, are triggered by, I guess, things that I've seen, witnessed, or situations that may be not commonly spoken about or thought about, and that I, I suppose I find interesting. So then, you know, maybe other people should know about this, or maybe other people would find this interesting. So if I have a good understanding of that situation, I'm in a good position to be able to communicate that to other people. You know, everyone's dealing with something somehow, you know, some people bring a positive energy to it. Some people think everything's difficult and like, oh shit, how am I going to handle this? And other people are like, yeah, it's a difficult situation. We're going we're gonna to make it work and we're going to grow from it and we're going to, you know. So it's, it's kind of interesting. But generally humans and living things are dealing with the world and stuff and um, working out how to survive in that. And it's always interesting for us as living beings to look at that. I think that I'm very interested in, um, in communication. And I'm interested in the duality of communication, people saying one thing and meaning another. And I think it's very interesting if people's words are communicating something and their body language is perhaps communicating something very different. And I think that body language tells us so much about how, about people. And obviously film is a medium which is looking at the outside, but for me, it's all about getting inside. So body language and, and kind of the camera being maybe taking our, our audience's point of view towards that sometimes is a way of getting inside and getting inside people. For instance, in Baby, the camera stays quite close and it becomes kind of claustrophobic because you're, it's about the unfolding of this relationship over a very short period of time. And to do that in a convincing way, to watch every kind of blink between them, to kind of really be where they were, was key to the film working and to really bringing the audience into that space that they were occupying. For me, short film has a life within itself and a very strong international community that supports short films through festivals. Um, that's a community that I feel very much um, linked to and grateful that that community exists. I'm, you know, I'm making feature films and I'm making short films and it's all, it's all, I guess it's, for me it's all kind of just communicating stories at, at different lengths ultimately. I'm looking forward to telling stories which need more time to be told because I feel like I've told, I've told stories over a short period and that would be nice to have 90, 110 minutes to be able to, to yeah, express what it is that I'm interested in. Mm -hmm.